Hello everyone, my name is Chris Kim and in this video we're going to talk about the local net module provided by Beaker. The local net module was previously called the sandbox module, but we recently changed the name to better explain the use case of the module and also align with our AlgoKit's local net. If you've already used the name sandbox in your code like my previous Beaker videos, don't worry, currently local net and sandbox can be used interchangeably. But in the future, we're planning to deprecate using Sandbox, so do use the term local net for any future code you write. Now there are two different ways to launch a private local algorithm blockchain on your computer. Sandbox and AlgoKit. Sandbox is a development tool that lets you run a private local blockchain on your computer with preloaded accounts. It also comes with Go command line tools, indexers, and multiple network support to suit your needs during your app development. AlgoKit also has a feature to launch a private local network called LocalNet with preloaded accounts. Both Sandbox and AlgoKit can launch a private network and you can use either one during development. For this video, I'll use AlgoKit to demonstrate Beaker's local net module. Algorand local net is used for testing purposes during development, but it may be a little complex for developers to interact with the local net when testing their code. This is where the Beaker local net module comes in. Beaker provides multiple helper methods that help developers interact with LocalNet more easily. Now let's see what you can do with the Beaker LocalNet module. When writing test scripts to test your smart contract, you often need access to an account's address, private key, and signer to send and sign transactions. While the local account class provided by Beaker is a data class that holds all three of these account details and is therefore easily accessible. LocalNet comes with three preloaded accounts, but the question is, how do we use these preloaded accounts in our test script? That's what the getAccounts method is for. The getAccounts method returns a list of local accounts that we just talked about for the LocalNet key management daemon, or in short, LocalNet KMD. The getAccounts method will return a list of three local account objects, and you can access each account by indexing into the list like this. If you need more than three accounts to test your application, the add account method lets you easily add a new account to the local net KMD. After adding the account, you can get that extra account by calling the get accounts method. Now, how do we communicate with the private local net? The answer is through an AlgoD client. An AlgoD client is a server daemon that lets you communicate with an algorithm blockchain node. The get AlgoD client method lets you easily set up a new AlgoD client using the default local net parameters and connect to your local net. If you need to query the blockchain history, you need to use an indexer where an indexer is an additional process that stores blockchain history. You can use the getIndexerClient method with the default local net parameter to create a new indexer client that will use the algorithm indexer to query data from your local net. Now let's see a quick demo to learn how to use these methods in practice. All right, let's take a look at this localnet.py file that we have here. Here in line three, we're importing in the local net module from the Beaker framework. And here in line five, I'm going to use the local net module to call the get accounts method. Now, the get accounts method returns a list of local accounts. So I'm going to print out that list right here. Now, here in line eight, I'm going to pop one of the local accounts from the list and assign it to account one. And then I'm going to print out the three account details the account address, the account private key, and the signer to showcase how easy it is to access these values. So later when you write your test script for your application, this is how you would access these values when you need them. And before I move on, I want to make this extremely clear. The local net module and the local accounts are used for testing purposes only. For the production application, you would use public algorithm wallet APIs that doesn't reveal the private key like it does here. You never want to directly write your private key in your code, never ever. I'm right, moving down to line 14. We're going to call the get AlgoD client method here and assign it to the variable AlgoD client. Now to showcase what you can do with the AlgoD client, I'm going to call the suggested params method from the AlgoD client and assign it to SP. And then I'm going to access the min fee value inside of the suggested params to get the suggested minimum fee for the algorithm blockchain. So you can use the AlgoD client to get a bunch of information about the algorithm blockchain. And also, as you will see in the later video, you can use the AlgoD client to set up what's called an application client that will let you easily deploy and interact with your application. I'm right, moving on to line 19. We're using the local net module again to call the get indexer client method. And then down here in line 21, I'm going to do indexer client .block info with the argument one. So what this code is doing 
is, hey, I'm going to use the indexer to get the information of block one of this algorithm blockchain. Because right now we're connected to the local network. This code is going to get the information of block one of your local network. And down here, I'm going to print that information out with json.dumps to make it pretty. All right, let's go to the terminal and run this file. Now, before I run this file, I need to have the algorithm local net running in my computer. So to do that, first, you want to make sure you have your Docker desktop running in the background. Docker is where your AlgoKit sandbox is going to be running and run that algorithm local net on your computer. All right, coming back to VS Code, after you check that your Docker is running, just simply type in AlgoKit local net start in your terminal to launch the algorithm local net on your computer. And just like that, the algorithm local net is running on your computer. All right, now let's go ahead and run this file. Python 3 localnet.py. All right, let's scroll up here and take a look at the printed values. First thing we did was we got the list of accounts by doing localnet.getaccounts and I printed that list out. So you can see these three local account objects included in this list. And each local account includes the address, the private key, and the signer object. And then we popped one of the local accounts from the list and then we printed out the three account details like this. So down here in the terminal, you can see that the address of account one is this value right here. The private key is this right here. And the signer object is this right here. If you remember the previous Beaker videos where I had scripts for testing out the smart contracts that I had, you saw that I used the local account object to send and sign transactions to call the applications and all that. Next, we set up the AlgoD client, and then we use the AlgoD client to get the suggested parameters, and especially the minimum fee of the algorithm blockchain. And you can see the printed value right here says suggested minimum fee is 1,000. And here, 1,000 is 1,000 micro-algos, which equals 0 0.001 algo. All right, next up, we set up the indexer client, and we use that client to get the information of block one of your local network. So if you come down to the terminal, I'm going to expand this. You can see all the information that is included in block one. I won't go into the details of what is consisted in this return value. But as you can see, you see all of the information like the transactions that were included in the block, what network it is, and all that. In this video, we learned about the local net module provided by Beaker, which provides multiple helper methods that will let you easily interact with local net during your development. We learned about local accounts, which include the three account details that you need for testing, and how to set up an AlgoD client and the indexer to connect to your algorithm local net for testing. If you have any questions, head over to our official Algorand Discord channel and get help from our developer relations team or our experienced Algorand developers. Also, we'll be posting tutorials, concept overviews, product updates, and more in this channel. So subscribe and click that like button to stay in the loop. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.